removing items from Python dictionaries. Here we've got a dictionary uh, and it's a telephone book that we've set up and it's got three people in our telephone book. Now let's say uh, we're no longer friends with Fred, so we want to get rid of Fred out of our telephone book. Uh, really, really quite simple. All we have to do, the code is del, the name of the dictionary, square brackets, and then the name of the associated key that we wish to delete. So here, we're gonna to go to the telephone book and we're gonna delete Fred out of the telephone book. And if you look up here now in the dictionary, you can see that there are only two people left in the dictionary. If I, if I delete that line of code, there you go, he's back there again. So, and there you go, we could just delete him again. There we go, good stuff. Okay, so that's how you delete an item from a dictionary, but that's not normally how we delete, uh, we're not always gonna delete Fred. I mean, I'm sure not everyone in the world hates Fred. Um, so usually in your program, you're gonna to want to ask for the name of the person that you're gonna to want to delete, uh, and then delete that person. So nice and easy, just put name equals input. Who do you want to delete? question mark, uh, which is good, oh, name, because who do you want to delete, and then del, name of the dictionary, which is tell, and then followed by the name of the variable that you've just done, so name, uh, del, tell, name, just like that, so who do you want to delete, let's say we want to delete uh, Jenny this time, so hopefully now if we click submit, uh, it's got to this point here, and it should now delete Jenny, there you go, so she's now gone from the dictionary. Um, which is good, but what happens if Jenny's not in the dictionary? Well, just like with the previous tutorial, uh, at, the, at the moment with this bit of code, it's going to come up with a key error. So there, let's put Joe, and then we go forward here, look, key error Joe. At this point, your program would crash because it can't find Joe. It's not found Joe, doesn't know what to do. So what do we do? How do we make our program a little bit more robust. Well, really easy. All we have to do is use the an if statement, if name in, and then the name of the dictionary, which in this case is tell. So if that person's name is in uh, the telephone book, then delete that person. And we can put print uh, person deleted. And then you could do an else and just put print person, or just put name not found. There you go. So it's a nice, easy, robust way of doing it. It'll either find the person to delete or it will give you some kind of advice. So let's put Joe again. Now hopefully this time, who do you want to delete? Joe forwards. Uh, and there you go. Print name not found. Perfect. Let's just go back to the beginning. Let's try that with a, um, always test my code. Make sure it works fully. So we've tested it with a negative. Now let's try it with Jenny, test it with a positive to make sure it's working. So looking for Jenny, click forward. Yep, it's got down to this line, it's gonna delete her. So we should see her, yep, she's deleted it from the dictionary and it should print person deleted. There you go. So that's how you delete someone from a Python dictionary.